Hey, uh, welcome back to Grim Fandango. So, we're now up here. I don't know what's up here. So let's do a little exploring. Um, we're... Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Mimbrio? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these Rose Gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. Jeez. Oh, it's more people dying from that... that plant thing. Digging through flower beds is Membrio's job, not mine. Digging through flower beds is Membrio's job, not mine. Hmm, I don't think I need to interact with him then. What's up here? Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials HL. I don't really know what this part of the town is. Alright, let's go back down the elevator. Pretty sure we have to talk to some of those folks in the casino. Okay, there's a the blue casket. No, 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 no. Here. These bees. Cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers. <laughs> all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to nope. get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. Hmm. If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in Elmero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. I can't tolerate all this injustice. I'm leaving. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees. They do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. Well... Trouble on the Union Street. Is there any other... No, oh, wait. So clearly they put that there for some reason. Let's go... Hmm. It's over here. Hmm. 
Ugh. I'm not sure what I hate more, crowds or cats, it's but I'm definitely not play. going near either one enough. today. Beloved Sanspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia won on its maiden voyage crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sanspoof was in the lead. I hear cat. Fucci, that smell. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. I will just put that in there. I don't know why I need cat food. Sometimes these puzzles are just like, like here's a bunch of stuff. And there's no real, <laughs> no real explanation. All right. So I think the 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 most productive dialogue we had was with um the guy Hey Hey what? Where are you going? Looks oh, like a great like night for cat up. races. Cat races. Oh, sorry, uh. monsieur, but this is the elevator to the high rollers lounge. That's where I'm going. It is members only. You must be new. And you must have a VIP pass to come upstairs. Adieu. All right. Well, I do know somebody who makes passes. So let's go back to him. Well, Manny Calavera, you never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Where are you? Ah, Carla. Busy night? Hardly. <laughs> Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I'm just a collector. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. Well... What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Jeez. Giving, there the, give, giving him the hard no. Um... Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Oh, is it because I got the cat Sir, food? if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You're clean. Rats, Manny. I almost got to strip search you. Hmm. Is there a way to... Wait. Why don't you come by the club anymore? Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy. I just want to strangle her. I've tried that. It doesn't stop her. So, is it time for your <laughs> break yet? I told you not till dawn. Kind of romantic, though. Don't you think? Alright. Well, I'll be back with something to detect, I guess. I guess that's what I need from... Man, this city's bigger than... 
There's more more avenues. Big ship. Hmm. Alright, so we need to get into the high rollers club. Oh, this is the Okay. This makes sense now. So now we're back by the elevator. So we just did a big circle. I think we know all the spots now, though. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting kind of seeing the, the background, all these, these characters. So I need a, a VIP pass to get into the High Rollers Club, and I need a way to get that metal detector before I ship off. So I assume I can get... That's not the right way. Um, I can get the VIP pass from Charlie in the... Except I don't know how to get back there. <laughs> Apparently. That's where the bees are. Maybe I was going the right way and I just need to... Let's go up the elevator again. Yeah, because then we get a VIP pass to get into the High Rollers Club, but what do we need to pick up? We have something to pick up, or we picked up something that triggered the metal detector, but it didn't, um, oh, there we go, um, but it didn't, uh, it didn't get us to phase two. Alright, so now we're back at our, our cafe. We can go down these stairs. <laughs> Hi, Gladys. I've got right. nothing to say to him. You know, some Good people say you should always you. walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Look out, Noir, Berremont. Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night soon. Mesdames and Messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got nothing to say to him. I've got nothing to say to him. No more bets, please. We'll cut this part out. Hmm, so Mesdames et Messieurs, fed vos jeux, if you please. I've got nothing to say to him. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got nothing please to say to him. Child chill at Charlie in his regular booth. Hmm. Mesdames et Messieurs, rien ne va plus. Let's go to Gladys. I just had a run in with Domino and Meche. We're leaving town. What? What? How? Domino's got Meche. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. Sounds good. I know it. <laughs> Alright, so now he knows. Well, how are we supposed to get a counterfeit card if he won't even talk to us? Let's go back all the way upstairs. Le numéro gagnant, le 25, rouge, entre les bases, 25, red. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Look out below. Le numéro gagnant. Le neuf. Rouge. Empire Monk. Nine. Red. This is an outrage. I bet on number two. Why didn't it come up number two? Ah, monsieur, je suis vraiment désolé. 
I do not pick the winners. These things are all controlled by the man upstairs. Well, please tell the man upstairs that Police Chief Bogan was very upset when he left. And when he returns later this evening, he would prefer to have better luck. Oui, monsieur. Bonsoir. I will definitely tell him. Madame and Monsieur, faites vos jours, s'il vous plaît. That's funny. So I made the police chief leave. Um, okay, that's the balcony. So how does that change things downstairs? Hmm. Okay, police chief is gone. Good Good to say to him. Fed for sure, if you play. Ladies and gentlemen, please press your beds. I've got nothing to say to him. Hmm. Pretty sure we do have something to say to him. So, we'll figure that out for the next episode. I don't know why I can't talk to him again. I don't know if I did the wrong dialogue sequence or what, but we'll figure it out in the next episode of Grim Fandango. So, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.